Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. We shall learn more about fonts today and let's get started. So the first font that we have is called Math Greek. I really don't know how to pronounce it, but on the screen you shall see that the function goes like this. And after every function, it should have a curly bracket inside which the word goes in. So let's see how this function uh, appears when we have a word inside the bracket. So all we have to do is type in a word. I'm just going to use hello. And double clicking on it, you can either use the block equation or you can use the inline equation. For now, I'm just going to stick with inline equation because both of them does the same. And I'm just going to start from this end, go up all the way to the beginning because it needs to be within a curly bracket. So either way, it's correct as long as you get the brackets in. So once the bracket is in, go ahead and type in slash math trick and there we have it it looks very ancient and looks really really nice and you can put in uh, spaces if you like because the single backslash is one space because the space on the keyboard doesn't really work when it comes to inline equation or block equation so if you want a space you can use this so moving on to the second type of font and that is slash math str and again it's a function so the bracket has to be there so let's see how this font um, or the function actually appears to be and again a word before we start and again highlight it and inline or block equation whichever you prefer so always I'm, I like to start with the brackets but you can go all the way towards the left side and work your way towards the right so now comes the function it is math str and this is a really nice cursive handwriting and yeah there we have it so moving on to the next font or the function math function um, so again it is slash math bb okay this one is cool because I remember this crystal clear and again don't forget the brackets so again write a word before you s actually use the uh, inline equation or the block equation otherwise you don't really get this option right so create equation in the brackets and slash math bb right there it's really really cool it's like the stencil kind of effect so far we tested all the function with capital letters so now let's check how it actually looks in lowercase so again I'm going to type in a word highlight it and create equation this one seems to work really well it's really nice and very gothic and it's really fun so now let's check out how math str behaves when it comes to lowercase and again the word and the function and I remember testing this out it didn't really work so for you guys to take a look, I'm going to do this again, SCR, and as you can see, it doesn't really do much or neither does it look kinda or even half the same as, the, um, as how the uppercase looks like because when you just type in a word and create a function, you can see that it almost does the same, right? It doesn't do well when it comes to lowercase. So keep that in mind. So let's just check out the math BB and the word create equation function math BB. Okay, this also doesn't work because clearly it doesn't 
work, nor does it look uh, even slightly similar to the capital letter. So math BB also doesn't work when it comes to lowercase because you can see even after using the math function, math BB, it looks uh, exactly the same when we just type in a word and create an equation and leave it as it is. So when you are going to use a math function, especially when it comes to math BB and math SCR, always keep in mind that you have to always use capital letters because um, if you are going to use lowercase and use the function uh, math SCR, it will leave you um, with the same result as just using a normal equation with no function in it. So another font that we are going to try out is the font text with uh, three T's towards the end and it doesn't involve math in the function. So and the function looks something like this, text with two extra T's. And also, since this is a function, you need to put curly brackets, otherwise the function is not a function. So again, as usual, I'm going to use my favorite word, and it is hello. And I'm going to just highlight it. Create equation. You can use block equation here as well. So I'm going to start with going from the right towards the left. And Whichever way is comfortable for you, you can go ahead and do uh, like that. And now comes the fun part and is use the function. And that is txt. It gives you the normal, regular uh, serif type text. You can stop right here if you're looking for a serif font. But if you're looking for a really typewriter kind of font, and it is this. With text with two extra t's and you just hit done. So now this might remind you of uh, of the default font that Notion gives you. You can totally go with it. So now let's compare this font which we use the function with, and we shall convert this with the default font that Notion gives you. So I'm gonna hit this mono. It kind of looks well. It kind of looks similar. Not the same, but it's similar. But the one with the function, it has a serif kind going on, whereas this lower part, which has the default notion for the mono font uh, that we just enabled, it has a uh, serif, non serif, kind, sans serif. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. It kind of has the sans serif uh, feel to it, whereas the one with the function has the serif kind of uh, feel to it. So whichever one you're looking for, you can go ahead and use that. So now let's take a look at how um, it looks with lowercase. Okay, let's do all lowercase now. Okay, let's highlight and create equation. And text with two extra T's. And again, it looks really fab and really nice. So these are the four different fonts that we learned today. I hope you learned something from this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.